Hello guys. This is my first try in uh, documenting my my gardening, specifically of um, carnivorous plants. I have here the uh, Drosera burmani, and I think I planted this too last. If it if it's not July, it's August last year. I bought the seeds from Facebook through the Goblins and Dryads Facebook. And now, it seems all of them are starting to flower. So I already harvested one stem. And I think this one is already ready to be harvested as well. Let me just, uh, there you go. So I read on Facebook or on the internet that all of the flowers should um, at least most of them should flower first so the seeds will mature inside you will know that for by seeing that all of them are already black seeds otherwise if they're premature you wouldn't get good seeds to replant so this is my first try in in uh, harvesting my own seeds so this was the first stem that i got as you can see, I don't know if you can see from the video, but there are already seeds inside. So what I did was I bought the medium, the sphagnum moss. So, and I'll use my own seeds to plant new ones. So these two, I planted them later. I think it was maybe October or November last year. So. This one, I was able to um, propagate a lot of the seeds. So I guess I have two kinds, the red one and the green one. It seems like I have just like a, a little bit of an ant infestation here. So I need to take care of that. So right now, we're going to cut this one. And put them together with the with the other seeds that I have and plant them in the sphagnum moss. So here we go. There, so I cut it already. Sorry I wasn't able to show you that because I'm alone and I need to be careful in cutting the seeds. It might fall to the, to the soil and the seeds may be shaken off. They're easily shaken off. So you need to be careful with it. There you go. I, I cut really close to the plant itself I don't know if that's correct but I think it's better that way so slowly I'm going to put this inside the white envelope Once you turn the seeds upside down, it's so easy for them to to fall off the the seeds. So you need to be really careful. I think I lost some seeds. <laughs> so there you go. I just shake it around so that it fall. Um, I use the white envelope so you can clearly see because the seeds are black. And I think I have a good amount of seeds right now. And they're ready to be planted. Just to show you how the carnivorous plants eat, they have like this sticky substance coming out of their like tentacles. And as you can see, this patch got a little beetle. So sad, but you know, that's nature working. So I can't save this beetle so that my plants can eat there as you can see i have a lot of seeds now if you gently shake it you can see that it's already thick in there so we're ready to replant for replanting what we need is uh, a container 
So what I do is I have a small container for to house the medium and the seeds and a larger container with uh, with a cover to keep the moisture inside. I, for medium, I bought dried sphagnum moss. There you go. Dried sphagnum moss also from, from goblins and dryads. And what would I what I'll do is I'll put the moss here and then make sure you level the moss and then put uh, this is very important use only distilled water don't use tap water or mineral water because um, that affects the, the the growth of the seeds because it might um, promote algae and all the stuff that might grow on your medium so um, it's making sure that only the seeds grow in there and they all get the nutrients from the medium so uh, let's start put a little bit so i guess you just need a little bit i got like two two of these i forgot how much and i only use like more less than one fourth maybe one eighth of one pack so you just uh, press it nicely make sure it becomes flat and then first we'll put the water before we we sprinkle the seeds on top Be generous with the water because the Drosera burmani really likes it soggy and wet, almost like swamp like. So don't be afraid to don't be afraid to add water. The the sphagnum moss will will soak all that water. Make like a soft cushion for the Drosera burmani. There you go. Why I like to put it in a bigger container is so that um, there's like a micro environment there that um, makes sure that uh, when the water evaporates um, it creates moisture inside it locks the moisture inside although um, I was told that you don't really need one there we go sprinkle the seeds Now you have to wait maybe like from a week to a month depending on how good the seeds are but since they're fresh I'm expecting them to um, to grow immediately so hopefully we get we get really good um, growth from propagation from the seeds that uh, I personally harvested and let's just you just need to put the we need to put the <clears throat> the container somewhere with indirect sunlight and make sure that the medium does not get dry. Always some moisture in there. So see you in a while.